Hey Toad Tribe, and welcome back. Today we're diving into a heated debate that's been rocking the online art world, the controversy of art and style theft. Buckle up because we're about to get into the nitty gritty of the artistic ethics of copying, stealing another artist's style, and a lot more. For context, throughout most of human history, art has been a collaborative endeavor. In the Renaissance era, for example, artists often worked together in guilds, openly sharing techniques and styles. Artist Michelangelo studied under Domencio Gerlandio, while Leonardo da Vinci himself learned in the workshop of Andrea del Verrocchio, a renowned Florentine artist. Leonardo also had numerous students who replicated his technique. Copying was not seen as theft, but as a crucial part of the learning process. This collaborative spirit fostered an environment where artists could learn from one another and improve their craft. During this time, art guilds were an essential way to train and become a master artist. These guilds were like factories that churned out polished artists in a highly structured and supervised environment. Art operated much like other professional careers at the time because it was a large part of the community and there was lots of support for artists. There were no factories, so most items bought were produced by local skilled artisans. Wealthy families, the church and royalty, would commission guilds, not individual artists, to paint murals, illustrate religious stories, and create statues depicting heroes of the Bible. Art as a profession functioned much the same as any other business. Highly skilled masters trained younger, less skilled apprentices. Apprentices would start by mixing paints and binders, graduate to painting insignificant background scenery, and eventually become skilled enough to work on the more important details of commissioned artworks. Before we get too far into the video, if you're passionate about the history of art and want to join a community that values creativity and collaboration, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's create art together. My current piece is spot on for our discussion today. A mischievous girl making a daring escape from a castle after nabbing something valuable. She's feeling the thrill of the getaway. But I imagine she's also sweating bullets at the thought of the kingdom's guards hot on her tail. The girl represents us artists, sneaking inspiration from each other and crossing our fingers and hoping that nobody catches on. In my own art, I've been deeply inspired by the worlds of Disney, anime, and Avatar The Last Airbender. I also draw inspiration from talented independent artists like Rin Spirit Art, Nadia Axel, Love to Draw Manga, and other artists here on YouTube. As I learn and grow, my inspirations will likely evolve, shaping my ever-evolving art style as I continue to explore what resonates most with me. The Industrial Revolution marked a significant shift in how art and craftsmanship were perceived. With the advent of factories and mass production, many craftsmen found themselves competing with machines. This period introduced the concept of branding and individualism, fundamentally changing how artists approach their work. Art became a product that needed to stand out in a crowded market, leading to an obsession with originality and a fear of copying. In contrast, throughout ancient Egypt, Apprentice artists hone their skills by meticulously copying the styles and techniques used in hieroglyphs and tomb painting. This practice ensured consistency and adherence to religious iconography. One prime example is the Book of the Dead of Ani, a papyrus scroll dating back to the 19th century dynasty. This funerary text features detailed illustrations of spells and deities alongside hieroglyphs. The striking uniformity in style across the pages suggests that the artist, or quite possibly a team of artists, relied on established artistic templates passed down throughout generations. 
Another captivating example from ancient Egypt would be the tomb of Nebamun. This tomb, belonging to a scribe and estate steward, showcases a stunning collection of paintings. These frescoes, rich with detail and intricate scenes, depict daily life in ancient Egypt, alongside religious imagery. Art historians believe these paintings served as training grounds for apprentice artists. By meticulously copying the established styles and techniques used in the tomb's decorations, apprentices honed their skills and ensured the continuity of artistic traditions. Historically, copying has been a fundamental aspect of learning and artistic evolution throughout the globe. Imagine if every new scientist had to repeat existing experiments before making progress. Scientific advancement would stagnate. Similarly, past societies understood that copying plays a crucial role in artistic development. Copyright laws emerged as a regulatory response to the challenges and opportunities presented by industrialization. Aiming to balance the interests of creators and consumers and society as a whole. With the rise of factories and mass production, skilled artisans of the past found themselves in direct competition. Many artisans lost business opportunities and were eventually compelled to seek employment in the same factories that stole away their business in the first place. Just as clothes were produced quickly, cheaply, and en masse, so too were art pieces. Statues could be created using molds of already existing pieces, and factory workers could churn out more copies than any guild ever could. Any artisan at this time was in direct competition with factories and big business, and this is the same landscape artists find themselves in today. In today's hyper-social world, artists face unprecedented levels of competition. This is further intensified by the democratization of art, where creative expression is within reach of anyone with a passion and an internet connection. The proliferation of inexpensive online classes, accessible materials, and the vast reach of internet for self-promotion have transformed the landscape. Artists not only grapple with the challenge of standing out, but also navigating a dynamic and ever-expanding digital marketplace of ideas and inspiration. It's easier than ever to create art today. If you're watching this video, chances are you have access to digital art materials. From free or low-cost phone apps to computer programs paired with affordable drawing tablets, even hobbyist display tablets, once out of reach for many, are now readily available and affordable. Today, anyone with an internet connection and a device can dive into the world of art, learning and creating faster and more affordably than ever before. There's no longer a need to mix and bind our own pigments, afford expensive materials, or even train under a master artist. Instead, one can learn easily and for free from the comfort of their own home. In contemporary times, the concept of art theft ignites heated debate, especially within the online art community. As the artistic landscape becomes increasingly crowded, artists find themselves grappling with a surge in competition. In response, there's a growing obsession with individualization. Today's artists are compelled to carve out a distinct brand, meticulously crafting styles or drawing techniques that are both recognizable and innovative. This pressure to stand out in a sea of talent has reshaped the way artists approach their craft and navigate the digital realm. In 2015, DeepArt emerged as one of the pioneering AI image generators, marking a significant milestone in the integration of artificial intelligence into the creative process. Since then, the landscape has exploded with a plethora of tools like Stable Diffusion and Bing AI all readily accessible to the public. This surge in AI-powered generators has intensified the pressure on artists, who now find themselves not only competing against each other, but against technology, blurring the lines between human creativity and machinery. It's no surprise that artists today are particularly sensitive to the issue of theft. With competition at an all-time high, 
artists are clinging to specific brands and styles in order to stand out and thrive in this rapidly evolving landscape. However, it's worth reconsidering whether copying someone's style truly constitutes theft. Historically, copying was a fundamental method of learning and growth in the artistic community. While many artists today feel threatened when they see their styles being emulated by others, perhaps this reaction is an overestimation of the situation. Utilizing different tools and resources should not be viewed as cheating, but rather as a natural aspect of the creative process. In order for something to be cheating, there would have to be rules, and there are no rules in art. Copying images, drawing from references, and engaging in collaborative work are all essential components to the artistic process. Additionally, it's important to recognize that imitation is often regarded as the highest form of flattery in artistic circles. Some artists today harbor significant concerns about style theft to the extent that it impacts the businesses of other artists. In some cases, individuals with larger followings may utilize their platforms to harass and bully rival artists, exacerbating the issue and creating a toxic environment within the artistic community. As artists, we inherently learn and grow by drawing inspiration from the work of others, integrating elements that resonate with us into our own artistic expressions. Style, in essence, is an ongoing and ever-evolving journey of exploration and transformation. However, becoming overly fixated on a particular art style and brand recognition can stifle our creativity and hinder our ability to experiment evolve and challenge ourselves. By adhering rigidly to what we already know, we risk limiting our potential for growth and exploration in new skills and mediums. The prevailing anti-style theft culture that permeates online artistic communities stands in stark contrast to the collaborative spirit that has historically fueled artistic innovation. Rather than fostering an environment of cooperation and shared learning, this culture has bred animosity and hindered the free exchange of ideas. True artistic growth thrives on collaboration, where artists come together to inspire and support one another, pushing the boundaries of creativity and innovation in the process. I really enjoyed making this art piece I love that there's a bit of a story unfolding in it, and I'm particularly pleased with how the horse turned out, especially since it's my first time drawing one. Surprisingly, it was a lot easier than my previous attempt at drawing a cat. I also added a little sheep for fun. I imagine that she's stealing it from the royal herd. I thought it would add a cute, kind of whimsical, fun touch to the whole composition. To sum up, the concept of art theft is a phenomenon largely rooted in modern times. Driven by capitalistic influences and a heightened emphasis on individuality. Throughout history, artists have viewed imitation as an integral part of their creative journey. By adopting a more collaborative approach and loosening our grip on rigid artistic styles, we can foster an environment that nurtures mutual growth and creativity. Remarkable art emerges from a collective voyage of learning, sharing, and evolving together. Let's uphold this tradition by embracing the collaborative essence of artistry. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this discussion on art and collaboration intriguing, Please show your support by giving this video a big ol' thumbs up and sharing your perspective in the comments below. I'm curious, how do you think embracing a collaborative mindset can shape the future of art? See you next time. Bye! Hands wrap, knuckles tape, black pick
my gloves up off the mat Fighting's all I ever had Wasn't born with tons of gifts Had to work hard as a kid Know that everything I did Was to catch the other kids Slowly built that self-esteem Turned myself to a machine I'd compete so I'd be seen I would lose and I'd succeed But you'd never see me quit I'd always get after it Knew I had a different gift I'd outwork any other kid